You are going to get FOMO as a crypto investor. It's just a fact of life. I've had it for the last few days because of what's been happening with XRP. I did get some exposure last year, but I'm thinking probably not enough. So I'm gonna give you a quick update on XRP and why I've been feeling FOMO. Then I'll finish with a bit on mindset. It's important to help you avoid FOMO. By the way, nothing in this video is me dishing out financial advice. Just me trying to help you out with my seven years of crypto experience. So when you look at CoinMarketCap, XRP is up by over 400% over the last month. And I've been feeling a little bit of FOMO. But I am well aware that you can't win them all. You can't invest in everything. And like I said, I did get some exposure last year. So I really do need to get a grip. So is now the time to sell your XRP? Well, I think not personally. And you just have to look at a tweet by XRP Daily who said this, don't sell until one, RLUSD is released, two, Trump is in the White House, three, Gary Gensler officially leaves the SEC, four, the Ripple case ends, five, alt season really starts, six, Ripple name a big bank partner in, and seven, XRP ETF approved. I don't know about you, but I'm not selling any XRP for the time being. By the way, well done for all Ripple investors who've been waiting patiently for positive price action, for positive news. So the main point of this little video is to give, is to give you a little warning about FOMO. So I'm going to go over mindset and how to approach, to approach crypto over the next 12 months. Please avoid FOMO, fear of missing out. It's natural, we're human, greed kicks in but you've got to stick to the fundamentals. Learn all about Bitcoin, learn how it's decentralized, learn how it's secure, it's transparent, it's immutable. Then you learn all about altcoins. And if you want to invest in, let's say five altcoins, make sure you fully understand them. Watch a couple of YouTube videos, read the articles, and then invest with money you can afford to invest. Then it's about securing your cryptos. Are you going to leave it on an exchange or are you going to send it to a cold wallet? The safe way to go is with a cold wallet, unless you're about to sell. Then you really need to focus on your cash out strategy, your exit strategy. And if you want a video all about exit strategy, all about my exit strategy, see below for a video that's got you covered. The thing is, the crypto bull market is going to be difficult. This is the hard part. It's exciting but it's hard emotionally. It's because, and retail investors are gonna be checking coin market cap literally every five minutes, especially if the crypto is doing well, or they hear about crypto doing well. The amount of retail investors that are gonna be forewarned in, now they've heard about coins like XRP, XLM, and HBAR, the one in, because they're hearing about these huge gains. That's what retail investors do. They start coming in during the bull market, instead of, doing the research for years during the market cycle, which is what you should do. For me personally, if you understand the market cycle, the four year crypto market cycle, you've got a really good chance of doing well. And if you want a video all about my experience with three crypto cycles in my seven years as a crypto investor, see below. And hopefully this will help you understand crypto cycles. So mindset, if you feel yourself getting too emotional, Try and calm yourself down. Take yourself for a walk, go to the gym, have an ice bath, whatever it is you do to calm yourself down, to help yourself emotionally. And one thing that's really going to help is education. Learn all about investing, psychology, crypto investing, invest in the stock market, anything you can do to help you with your mindset. This is going to help you over the next 12 months. If you're getting too excited, if you're getting too emotional, you're likely to make stupid investing decisions and you're likely to make mistakes and lose money, unfortunately. So try and stick to the fundamentals, read the books, educate yourself by watching loads of YouTube videos and you'll do well. So this was just a quick video all about mindset. So, you, so hopefully you avoid four more over the next few months. It's going to be hard, but it is possible. Hopefully you've taken value away from this video. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this, and hopefully you do well in crypto. Good luck.